Hi Libra, I'm Anisha. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity in your personal lives or in your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarobyanisha.gmail.com. Librans, we, be, we begin the month with Mars that is still retrograde till about end of the month. And uh, Mars is retrograde in your house of money. However, the good news is we have Sun and your ruling planet Venus uh, that are there in your house of beliefs uh, and some amount of travel as well. And on the fourth mm -hmm. over here as well. Now, with Venus being over there uh, in in this particular house, it is all about freedom. You are not wanting to get um, tied down as far as your spirit is concerned, Libra. It's really a time wherein that you want to be with somebody who's equally as free as you are. You want to be with somebody who's uh, really has an expansive mind, who's willing to accept and enfold you uh, along with them. It's a time wherein you're not going to be tolerating whether they're tunnel visions, petty ways of thinking or even someone who's trying to sort of conform and confine you. And uh, it's a time where um, it's a brilliant time however to be taking a long trip. It's a lovely time to be traveling at all. And uh, it's uh, with sun also being over here though your focus is going to be really expanding your mind and you're going to be uh, having experiences you know which can really open you up to other people and uh, you know give you greater perspectives and you may spend time with uh, people from other cultures other countries and it's just really going to be broadening your mind and uh, you're going to be having quite an easier time dealing with the big picture around this time and um, it's just a very adventurous time Libra's. you're not going to be you're not going to be wanting to sort of sit back and twiddle your thumbs. You're just going to be getting out and doing a lot of uh, stuff. And um, this house also rules law. So it can be some legal matters can come into play. Uh, it isn't the best time for really long term plans. So don't commit yourself to something that doesn't get done very quickly. And um, also don't try and do something that really requires minute details because you're not going to be having that attention span. Around the uh, 13th, we have Mercury that is coming and joining this part, which is just going to be making you very chatty. You're going to be seeking a lot of conversations around, you know, making plans, talking, discussing, being with like-minded people, being with people who are mentally stimulating to you. And because this has to do even with your values as well, um, a lot of you are going to be talking about things that are really important to you. What is it that really ticks you from inside? Um, Libras and I'm saying not tick off I'm saying what is it that really moves you what really gets you going and these are the conversations that are going to be uh, happening and you're going to be um, you're going to be able to put your uh, point across um, in a very easy and a very gentle way Uranus however is still there it's still busy shaking your house of uh, marriage and partnership and business associates as well so Uranus, of course, is um, it's going to be throwing up still surprises. You may just feel that you know your partner really well, and you know all of a sudden you'll be surprised thinking, "Who is this person I'm living with?" And uh, it, it's also a, a time that um, you know, with with Uranus being in the sector when it comes in transits, it's some amount of trial and error that's happening in the relationship. There's some amount of tug and war that is so limits are being tested you are uh, being uh, pushed you are pulling and there's a constant stretch uh, uh, that is there and also there are going to be changes as to in your own mindset as to how it is that you look at partnerships how it is that you view uh, them you really are uh, not going to be in a space as far as partnerships are concerned to be taking orders so you're not happy playing the second fiddle uh, Libras. you want the equal um, you want to play the equal field over here and uh, even it can be to an extent that you are willing to break free and uh, literally sort of uh, you know get away from any form of a restriction they may come upon you around the 18th we have uh, venus that is entering your house of um, your reputation career um, public persona how it is that you want people to view you and it's followed by sun that is joining there on the 21st as well and uh, it's a time where around this time you're going to be attracted to people who are really stable uh, in relationships you're not really out for the excitement the adventure you're going to be looking at partners who are emotionally and financially stable you're going to be looking at um, someone who can really anchor you Libra, and, and that is something which is uh, 
uh, because there's a lot of uh, placement of respect along with stability that is there and uh, it is it is also saying of being with a person who respects you so i think both these things are being equal and being respected i think pretty much parts of the same coin with sun as well being over here uh, there's going to be a focus on your goals and uh, which direction your life is really moving on to be and uh, a lot of uh, focus is there on taking really an, a practical approach to life. Around the 20th, we have a full moon that is there in your house of uh, communication siblings. It can be that um, either maybe because it's closing, it's finishing something, maybe a sibling is leaving home, maybe he or she is moving away from you, maybe you are in the same city and your sibling is not going to be there any longer. It can also be for some of you where there has been a spat in the family amongst two siblings. It's a time that you could be sort of, uh, um, you know, um, getting back together. You could be just sort of uh, smoothening the misunderstanding around this time. And uh, there can be some unexpected appointments that can be there. So try and keep your uh, schedule fairly flexible so that you're able to accommodate everybody and or even sort of not get too agitated. So um, because you know with, with the entire uranian thing you could be forced to sort of uh, have your plans uh, get changed because it is there in your house of partnerships uh, it is that most of it could be coming from your partner now the main focus this month is the planets that are really there in uh, a major struggle with each other whether it's a square that's uh, being formed within uh, Jupiter that is in opposition to Neptune and uh, that is there in your house of day-to-day -day chores and your activities and then it is further uh, squaring sound this time with uh, Jupiter being there in uh, your house of uh, behind the scenes activity it's a house of spirituality it's a house really it's a house of retreat and uh, you could be focusing on habits that maybe you've acquired over the years you could be looking at your patterns uh, Librans and I think that's a good thing because it's a time of a lot of uh, self-work that is indicated a lot of you have been doing it and this is carrying on for you till uh, uh, in June as well and uh, it's a good time to be uh, to be eliminating the baggage that is not required so you know it's a, a, a space where you are uh, you're not really afraid to get in touch in spaces within you which have caused fear or which have been earlier uh, you sort of stayed away and you know they've brought about a lot of fear in you and um, you could also be exploring your own spiritual side and you could be you know getting more deeper understanding it more some of you could take up meditation or um, you know um, maybe do it professionally do maybe certain courses esoteric courses professionally and um, your expansion is going to be at a high Libra this month so it can be that you uh, volunteer yourself to maybe work with an animal shelter or maybe with an orphanage and um, you're quite happy doing things at the background you really don't want to get noticed uh, this month you know you just want to sit back uh, and let the world go by and keep doing uh, your little bit and uh, it's uh, really a time where um, I think it, it, it's almost like almost like a psychic retreat where you just sort of you know way when you're very tired we go and rest in this place so you could be literally be recharging your emotional and your spiritual batteries as well it's been a pleasure speaking with you Librans uh, for those of you a quick reminder who are seeking deeper clarity in your personal lives feel free to write to me for a personal consultation at tarubayamisha.gmail.com do remember to like share the videos and subscribe of course i'll see you again next month and thank you so much for watching